the net is closing in on Kate Middleton. It's practically obligatory for her to reappear to give explanations. At least that's what some British media and social networks demand. Everything has gone out of control in the past few days, but now there's news coming from Spain from a journalist who claims to have spoken with an intimate friend of Kate Middleton, confirming that the issue might be related to her mental health, which would genuinely prevent her from appearing in public. This contradicts much of the fuss that some British media are making, trying to perpetuate the farm video as if it were an irrefutable truth. Anyway, the video, I have to say, doesn't paint Kate in a good light because if she were truly happy, she could easily resume her institutional duties. But well, that's not the case. We're not here to talk about the video, but about this theory of why she's avoiding facing the public. As I was saying, journalist Ivan Garcia, on the program Tardier, with honor Rosa has given the exclusive, shedding some light on the real reason why Kate Middleton has taken refuge in the privacy of her home for a while. The first thing I did was to see if there was any connection between Georgina and Kate. In this regard, it must be said that there is absolutely no evidence of any relationship beyond the typical articles comparing women based on their appearance. Well, let's get to the information Ivan Garcia provided and let's see what we can gather from it. He mentions an intimate friend of Kate Middleton, without naming her, who reportedly frequents her exclusive home on the outskirts of London. He says she has broken her silence to him and indicated that Kate usually makes plans at friends' estates, and her friends visit her at home, that she is making these outings and visits on her own, but the royal house simply isn't informed, hence they don't know how to react, because Kate apparently is in rebellion. She doesn't disclose what she's going to do or not do. The royal house is faced with these plans, and at first they have to react, meaning, is Kate Middleton going rogue? Personally, I think, let me continue. He says he knows firsthand what the Princess of Wales is going through. He says it's a matter of illness, calm down. He says it's a taboo topic. She doesn't discuss with her friends, but she's recovering. Her major problem isn't medical, but rather sentimental or mental. She's very thin due to her illness, but what worries her is the emotional aspect. The phrase that this friend conveyed about Kate is devastating, says Ivan. It's a phrase anyone says when they've been cheated on. Ah, uh, Rose Hamburg and the statement. This is motivating that hidden life. She says she's not ready to assume a public life at the moment. And social networks have erupted. First, let me say, I give credence to this guy. He's never been caught in a lie or fabricating news. He's one of the few good things about that show, and in this regard, I tip my hat to the information he has obtained. Personally, I give him credibility. However, it's gotten out of hand, because now we have media practically reinforcing the Kate Middleton video version, and anything else is a lie. They already tried to discredit Kinchakalaja at one point, one of the few authoritative voices, because here in the Spanish media, except for a few exceptions, like I said, even Nando Escrivano, and also the people from Cantizano's program, well, the rest have been late and wrong, and are telling things as they please. Of course, then they complain, saying we didn't say this. Oh, what does that remind me of, by the way? Well, yes, you did say it, and it's a problem. In this case, it wasn't Ivan Garcia who wanted to mention the term bipolar disorder, but it was social media. In this regard, as they've related everything to infidelities, marital problems, William's addictions directly, well... Implicitly, they've pointed from that program to Rose Hambury and social networks, well, infidelity between Kate and William, and we all now have the Marchioness of Comindley or Chamley in mind. Well, these people can't explain why Rose Hambury is coming into the picture beyond the statement she sent through her lawyers, which didn't announce anything either. That is, she took the lawyers and, hey, say this is a lie and that's it. 
because it doesn't go hand in hand with Kensington Palace with her friend in capital letters, as some media outlets have wanted to portray her, Kate Middleton, and say nothing happened here. Mind you, it's been ten years because the thing between Rose and William supposedly started in 2014, heated up in 2017, which is when Kate Middleton started to suspect something. In 2019, William had to use the super injunction to stop information about that topic. And now, well, with everything surrounding the Prince of Wales, it was only a matter of time before this issue came up royal feeling, British feeling. I read an article from a Latin American outlet, but operating internationally, which said a bit about how the women of the Windsor family end up, well, with these types of problems, right? Mental health issues. We saw it in Lady D. We saw it in Meghan Markle, in Sarah Ferguson, and now it seems in Kate Middleton, too. Bipolar disorder isn't something that just appears overnight for no reason. Certain circumstances can be so strong that your head, your mind, isn't able to resolve or balance all the thoughts. Sometimes they intoxicate, and other times they simply overwhelm. In this regard, well, it can cause significant phobias, even contradictory and complementary ones at the same time, which, well, can lead a person to different, I mean, from this bipolar disorder to other disorders such as depression or anxiety. Is it a big deal if she's bipolar? No, obviously, we understand she'll be taken care of, we understand, but, well, personally, I wouldn't emphasize it so much because for many people, that word still carries a stigma because it's more associated with madness, with changing character suddenly, and no, that's not how it is. Well, those close to people with that illness can understand that it's not so much about that. As I said, I don't doubt Ivan Garcia's version, but I do doubt the friend's version a bit that suddenly, hey, she doesn't want to leave the house, but she's okay with going to friend's states that she doesn't want to resume royal events, but she does attend parties with friends to be seen and to be secretive about her illness. It seems like sheer frivolity to me, personally. I believe that appearances matter a lot in the UK, and everything might have to do a bit with this source itself and her way of giving herself importance.